Vietnam. Gosh, I can't believe I'm here. I'm on set at the moment, so yesterday was a really long day, so I haven't really had time to hop on. But today we're on set and I'm just waiting. For well, my call time, my call time was like at 6.30, so I woke up at 3.30 just to get here at 5. I was supposed to be on set at the sand dunes at 6.30, but I think it's already like going on 7 now, so things are running behind schedule, but not maybe not behind time. But it is apparently really hot today, so it's going to be interesting because I don't know how we're gonna survive in this heat. It's just my like gypsy attire. I'm shooting for Singha lemon soda. So the theme is kind of fun and funky and vibrant and we're sand surfing and the sand dune is just wild, it's so huge, it's kind of crazy actually. So it's exciting, I don't have to actually surf, we have stunt doubles for that, I don't think I even have to do anything that crazy, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> It is quite fun. This is what's happening behind me right now. Literally, all the crew are on set, and I'm just being a little passenger princess in the back seat with no driver. I'm just here because of the air conditioning. We normally don't sit in the car, we sit in the tent where it's quite hot. Stay tuned, and it's the last day of shooting. Tomorrow, we head back to Ho Chi Minh, catch our flight. It's at 9 pm, so we have a bit of time either here at the hotel or at Kochibu so we'll see. I haven't really been able to explore because it's just been so busy so yeah I'm excited to just relax tonight, tomorrow, grab some good beer food 
and head back to Bangkok. It's my last day in Vietnam. I'm in Mune, and this is my roommate. Yeah. Ah! I haven't vlogged at all during this trip, like talking. So now that I I am, it's the last day. So I feel like it's kind of like too late, but it's never too late for anything. But I'm just getting ready soon. I just went for a walk to the beach, but there wasn't much at the beach. So there's not much to do except for like chilling around here. This place is huge, this hotel like vicinity is like a village, a community so it's really big and you have to take like a little buggy or car to go around the area so that's really cool. So yeah, I'm really really thankful and appreciative to be here and yeah, it's been a really really fun experience. We're actually in Mune which is not Ho Chi Minh, we're south I think so we're about four hours drive so we have to go back to Ho Chi Minh today around noon because our flight is at night time at 9 p.m which is kind of late so i'm just gonna get ready i packed a little bit so my bag is like already packed and i'm just getting ready yeah this place is so nice i'll show you guys my hotel looks a bit messy because we slept so nice it's like a little village I just feel like I'm in a community, like a housing community. So it doesn't really feel like a hotel, it feels really odd. I'll show you guys outside. So that's it, that's the room tour. Now I'm going to get ready. We're just waiting on the buggy to arrive right now and yeah, it's gonna be Ho Chi Minh and then barely any time in Ho Chi Minh and straight to the airport probably. So yeah. The bread is a bit dry. Oh, uh, I feel like fresh bread. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, it's stale. I'm vlogging and it feels like I'm about to go on an adventure, but I only have an hour and a half left of Ho Chi Minh, so this is just, this is like nothing. We're really just exploring for an hour, really. I feel like this is very similar to the the central market in Pompeii. The way it's laid out and all the stalls and stuff. So yeah, it's really cute. You gotta haggle around here. Hey guys, I am having dinner. I am a little bit ambitious because it is it's 8.30. My boarding is at 8.35 and I'm having pho. So they said it takes three minutes. I wasn't hungry and then last minute I was like, you know what, I do want a bowl of pho before I leave. 